Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial. Um, today I have a very special tutorial um, inbound, and so let's go check it out. We will be making this funky Android logo in GIMP, um, and I'll have a link in the description for this funky Android text. Um, it looks pretty good, I think nice it looks pretty even nice clippings and everything so go ahead and open up it um just before we start if you liked this video don't forget to hit the like button to uh, offer some support for me and you can subscribe for any upcoming updates upcoming updates yes um so create a new image I'm going to go 1,280 and um, 720. There we go. And get your blend tool and set the mode to radial. Foreground colour as a deepish blue, this uh, 597294, I think is good and the background as this blue of 143E77 are the HTML notations for those two and just stroke down nice centre point centre to a corner there we go now create a new layer and name this layer body I'm going to do naming layers just to make it easier before we start, we'll need to set the colour to the exact colour of the Android robot, which is right here, I've installed, I have found. Um, the HTML notation is A4C639, you just have to enter these numbers. Yes, enter these numbers into this little type box there. So. First of all, we need to select the rectangle select tool, select rounded corners, and I figured out that 22 is a good radius for me. And what we want to do is find the centre of our image. We want to just draw a nice rectangle. Get the fill tool, fill it in with green. Select none. Now, make a new layer and call this layer hands. You want to get the rectangle select tool again and you just want to draw some thin hands like that. And fill it in. With this, you can duplicate the layer, select the flip tool, and flip it. Next, you can just get the move tool, and using the arrow keys, you can just move the arm to about perfect shape to the office. So basically, you want those two arms to be perfect, the thin line to be perfect. Next, Merge down so we have just one hand layer. This will just make it so much easier for you when you get into the more shapes. Because when I was doing it the first time, I had massive amounts of layers and it was hard to see which one to merge down and stuff. So I'm keeping it nice and neat this time. So go ahead and create a new layer. Call this legs. Now we want to select the rectangle select tool again and we want to just stroke some legs like that and fill with green, select none, in fact I might move that a bit just to get with the arrow keys. He has quite stubby legs, Mr. Android. And 
and now we want to duplicate this layer. Select the flip tool, flip. And we want to just get the move tool and move it closer like that. So you can sort of interpret a nice even spacing between the legs and the arms and the whole body basically. You might want to move it down a bit. There we go. And merge those two layers down. Now, we're going to be doing the head now. A nice rex, um, half circle head. And we want to go click this fixed aspect ratio. Actually, no, we don't, sorry. And we just want to draw a circle about the same width as his head. As his body. Next, we'll just fill it in and select. Now we just need to get the rectangle select tool. On the head layer, we just need to draw a selection here and go edit, cut, select, none. Then we get the eraser tool. Sorry, let me just move the head down. So it's nice and even like that. Get the eraser tool on quite a small brush and we just want to erase that. Zoom in and just erase that. Those. We want a nice clean cut robot. Okay. Um now you just want to get the rectangle select tool again and just select the top half of his torso like that and again you want to go edit sorry edit cut in the body layer sorry edit cut select and you just want to trim I've Cut that a bit too much. Just drag it up like that. Go edit cut. Select none. There we go. Then again, move the head down again. He's looking quite a stubby robot, but he looks quite good. Next, you want to go select. Mm, we'll see. Uh, anyway. Um, now we want to make a new layer and call it eyes. Um, next you want to get the paintbrush tool on a custom brush because I don't think GIMP comes with a solid brush. Um, use a full brush like this. To do this we just need to go into the brush dialog here and create a new brush. Whatever you want to call it. My this is a custom brush, of course. My um, radius is about 90 C, and my hardness was um, around that. So hardness one, everything default, and the radius one 17.1. That's the brush I used to make this brush. Use that brush and select white as your foreground colour. Now this is, I think, a difficult bit. You have to find the right size for his eyes. You have, depending on the size of brush you have, it will determine the size that you want it. I think I'm going to up my size to 20, 25s like that and you want to click just here and then you want to duplicate it so like the flip tool and there we have some pretty even eyes don't forget to merge those down next create a new layer and call it um, ears or antennae I think I spelled that wrong but who cares 
and 10 right. Next, go back to your rectangle select tool. I say next too much, but anyway. And we want to just draw some thin. Thin. Tools like that. Oh, fill them in with that lovely lime green. And then. Whoops, sorry. There we go. Okay. Duplicate this layer, select the flip tool, flip it around the other side, and then we get our rotate tool. And we want to rotate it around this around 25.42. And again get the move tool and move it just here. Do the same with this antennae, minus 25, there we go, and you just want to move it like that, and merge that down. Next, you want to just hide the background layer and just go image, merge visible layers, and unhide your background. If this is an optional step to build the robot text, it's called Roboto, and you want your color to be whatever. And I'm going to do a size of 100. Just click. And I'm going to type in buzz. Just because I felt like typing this. I think the best font for this is the best um, style for this is uh, all caps. And thank you for watching another tutorial. And I'll catch you next time for another great tutorial. Bye.